All right, let's have some fun with strings. Let's revisit strings for a minute. So you can print strings out to the screen like, yo. And notice that it's okay if I do a double quote or Lua also supports single quotes, bruh. So I hit run. And you can see they both work, yo, and single quotes. And notice too that I did a new feature called multiple statements. I made a statement where I wrote code. I did print one and I did print two. And when I run, notice how it says script on line two? So that colon designates what line number this thing ran on. So if I click it, it'll take me right to line two. You can see like the blinky cursor. And so that lets you know how your coding is on a particular line. And each one of these statements ran independently. So this printed first and this printed second. And that's how code kind of works. It goes line by line, one after the other. That's what's called imperative or procedural coding. It goes in a procedure, one after the other. So when people say procedural imperative, now you know what they mean, one after the other. Strings can also do math, craziness, right? You can go, yo, ma, and then space, and then dot, dot. So think of that as plus. So say, yo, ma, brudda. And actually, you know what? We'll get rid of the space. See that dot, dot? We'll hit run. And you can see that it did something called concatenate or add together the strings. So yo, ma, brudda, it was actually two strings. You can get rid of the spaces. You don't, you don't have to have spaces. I just like spaces to kind of like, quote, unquote, space it out, right? It just makes it easier to read. But that's opinion. You can write code however you want. If you want to have spaces there, that's fine too. If you want to have spaces in between these parentheses so you can actually see and in the method, right? You want to see it kind of spaced out. That's cool. That kind of syntax is flexible and that's cool because Lua is made of strings. You can kind of control how you do it, but you can only add it with this. So for example, if you try to add it with a plus like you would in math, for example, and hit run, it's going to get mad at you and say, yo, uh, you try to do arithmetic, but like you can't do that in strings. Now, what if a NPC or something is speaking loads and loads of text, like lots of text, and it even has return characters in it or, you know, new lines? How do you handle that? Well, there's a special left array, left array. Notice I put two of them and then a right one, right one. I call it an array brace, but I'm not even sure of the proper term. I don't really care. It's right underneath the squiggly braces on your keyboard. So you, you don't even have to hold shift. You just click those. If you do two, whatever you put in the middle will allow you to make really large strings that are multi-line. You can actually hit return. So I can go, yo, this is a large return string, bruh. Oh my gosh. I can do return multiple lines return. And you can do tabs, sup, and hit space and you can leave that space in there see how it's kind of green that lets you know you're on the right track <laughs> so if you see red underlines you know it's maybe you're missing one or maybe lua tried to add one robux studio added one for you so we're gonna hit run and you'll be able to see this guy on multiple lines see how it's like this is large but then it hits a return for you so this is how you can do large paragraphs of text in lua and if you want to print it out that's great if you don't want to that's great too